Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Wednesday morning. It's bright and early. We're back in the shop. You guys know the drill. If you guys please smash that like button, I'd really appreciate it. If you guys can leave a comment down below, even better. Helps the channel out. I can't stress that enough. Um, I've been getting lots of likes on the video, so I appreciate it. Been getting a few comments here and there. It's amazing. Uh, it lets me know who's watching. Um, I promise to reply to each and every person, each and every question. Um, I'll answer anything to the best of my ability. Um, like I said, it's Wednesday morning. We're back in the shop. Finally, 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 the Mustang is uh, pretty much done. We're just waiting for one last little thing here, and uh, we'll get it down off the rack outside. We'll give it a test drive, and as long as everything checks out good, we'll go ahead and give the customer a buzz and let him know that his car is ready. Get this thing out of the shop, finally. Um, not gonna spend too much more time talking about that. We have a early 2000s Chevy Silverado in. We're gonna be doing a tune-up. Um, the window, driver's side window is also stuck down. So we're gonna figure that out. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Uh, probably a bad regulator, most likely. Um, we also have a Volvo in that had a mouse inside the vehicle and it sounds like it might have eaten some wiring to the stereo and the heater and all that stuff so we'll figure out what's going on with that uh, we also have an f-150 in for a power steering pump we put a pump in it a while back um it worked but it kind of felt a little stiff yet um we believe that there's probably a problem with a possible possibly a problem with the rack anyway so we're gonna look into that and see what kind of work we got to do to get that going. Um, we also have a old OBS style Chevy Silverado in that uh, just got towed in last night. Uh, Mikey actually went and picked it up last minute. My normal guy um, was a little bit busy and had a truck on his flatbed. So Mikey went and swooped it last night after we closed, um, dropped it off. We're probably, um, from what it sounds like from the customer, it sounds like it probably has blown head gaskets and uh, um, or it could possibly just be a distributor problem, but um, he did sound like he was having some coolant problems as far as uh, coolant getting pushed back into the reservoir and uh, it did lose a lot of power on the way. So he actually broke down on the way to bring it here, but we have it here now, so we're good to go. We also have another F-150 that came in last night that is in for a um, detail. Now the guy is gonna be driving it to, it sounds like, Idaho no Utah I believe and he's gonna be uh, getting rid of the truck there he's gonna be trading the vehicle in and picking up a newer vehicle so he just needs it cleaned up enough um, to trade in and make it acceptable he uses it for construction so it's extremely extremely dirty on the inside like almost to the point where he, we got to pressure wash the inside of the truck but we won't be doing that it's too many electronics but we're gonna be doing, like I said, we're gonna be cleaning it up um, as the best we can in the amount of time that we're given um, for the price that we agreed on. And uh, we'll be getting that uh, um, done here in the next two days. So we'll be working on that today and tomorrow. Um, Friday, if I get a chance, we are gonna get back on the Ford Fiesta. Yesterday, Mikey came in, he kicked ass. Um, it's not 100% done, but we're pretty much done with the assembly. We still have the um brand new uh knee bolster driver's side airbag in from uh ford i'll actually pull that out so it's brand new from ford so we have to install that we also have a driver's side seatbelt retractor we have both sides we're not going to be um, installing the passenger side we don't need it um i can you can see i got the broken headlights back in because we actually the new headlight housings did not come with any bulbs as you can see in there so we're going to be pulling the bulbs out of the old housings installing the bulbs i still got a um mount double back tape on the ford emblem we're going to get the emblem installed so we got the grills installed in the bumper which by the way was a pain in the ass um so we got the grills put in the bumper we got the headlights in we got our hood closing we got our gaps um pretty much worked out we still have a few fasteners to install in the wheel liners. We have the headlight bulbs to put in, four of them to put on. Other than that, it is pretty much ready for a detail on the exterior. And of course, we got to install the driver's side seatbelt retractor, knee bolster airbag, um, 
hook up the diagnostic computer and uh, clear the SRS lights and uh, hopefully everything is good to go and they will stay off. Um, we did replace the SRS sensor, impact sensors on the front bumper rebar, the left and right side, same part number. Um, so that seems to have been all that it was calling for, but um, the SRS, SRS system can be tricky. So um, hopefully after replacing the two SRS items down there and uh, clearing the lights, everything will stay off and this car will be good to go. I also noticed that um, when the car got in an accident that the plastic core support was up against the serpentine belt and it actually kind of was rubbing against the serpentine belt because the car did still run. Um, so our serpentine belt does show physical damage. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, for the price and how easy it is to change that out, I'm gonna go ahead and remove that, install a brand new one because I hate to see this lit customer drive away and then two, three days later, um, break down on the side of the road and have to get towed in just over a $20, $30 serpentine belt. So we're gonna go ahead, get that serpentine belt changed out, but very, very happy and pleased with how this job came out. Looks amazing. If you guys go back in a few vlogs, um, you can of course see the vehicle um, wrecked and it was uh, pretty severely wrecked, honestly. I actually slightly, a part of me thought that it was probably gonna be a total loss, but um, insurance signed off and said, go ahead and fix it. So there you go. Uh, it is a pretty new vehicle, so I'm not too surprised, but I also gotta put in the door handle yet. Um, that's an easy last minute thing. I'll probably do that uh, when it's in the detail stage, but uh, everything worked out good. Everything's kind of lining up pretty good for how bad of a car this was wrecked. I mean, new core support, bumper rebar, bumper hood, um, fender, lights, grills, you name it. Um, everything lined up really good and the car looks almost like new again. So very, very happy with that repair. So we have a pretty busy day ahead of us. Um, Kent, my mechanic's a little bit behind, so he's got a few cars kind of piling up outside as I was mentioning earlier. Um, we're gonna get those going today. We also have a Hyundai coming in for an oil change. And uh, like I said, I'm gonna be working on a pretty dirty detail job for the next two days. Um, so, and of course, I gotta get on this. I gotta get a hold of the customer, let them know that we do have um, a couple um, spots that we gotta fix up on this tailgate. And uh, it'll take a couple more days probably as planned to uh, get this tailgate ready to paint get it painted and then uh, get them in here for uh, a couple hours and we can install the tailgate. Um, I'm kind of actually thinking that if I can get him to drop his tailgate off, I'll just go ahead and get all his hardware in, his emblem on, all that good stuff. And that way when he swings by, he, it'll just take two minutes, pop his tailgate on and send him on his way. So anyways, I'm gonna get a hold of the customer this morning and let him know that we do have his parts, but we do have a couple things to fix on it. Um, that way he's not kind of wondering what you know what the deal is. So there you have it Del Sol sitting pretty inside. I like to tuck it away every night The right-hand drive turbo Civic is sitting inside. I haven't had any time yet to shave the lip But uh, if I get any time probably by Friday I'm hoping and hoping crossing my fingers by Friday. I have a few extra minutes to at least um, Shave the lip and get it ready for paint and then uh, as well as uh, body work this and, and possibly get it in high build um, before the weekend. So I can go home, come in Friday, and uh, I can just do a big paint batch. I can paint the tailgate, can paint the lips, you know, and stuff like that. So pretty pumped. Um, I appreciate all you guys watching. I'm loving the feedback I'm getting. I'm loving the, the, the comments, the, the likes that I'm getting on the videos. The amount of views is perfect for, for how big my channel is so far. I'm getting consistent subscribers. Um, um, like I said, it took about a year to get 100 subscribers. And uh, just in the last three months, um, we are just a couple subscribers away from 200. So that is an amazing growth um, increase. Um, the amount of views has um, quadrupled, if not times 10. Um, so I'm appreciating all the views. Everybody's giving good feedback. The channel is growing. Um, I feel like I'm pumping out a lot of vlogs for you guys. I know they're just kind of like one takes and updates, but for me, that's the easiest thing to do at the moment, um, especially during the winter time here. So I'm getting better with the filming, 
the editing, the consistency, and that's what I'm kind of practicing. And also just being in front of the camera, it's not easy. I don't know if any of you guys have tried this, but it's kind of weird at first talking to yourself. You kind of, you'll, you'll, you'll catch me kind of stuttering a little bit and that's just because literally there's a camera in front of me. But anyways, very excited about the channel. Um, I've been watching other bloggers and other channels that I subscribe to and I'm also going to be, um, not only are we going to be um, doing some more car meets and runs and car events and car shows, but um, Carmen and I are also going to be um, starting to vlog a little more of our at home personal life as well. So if you guys are down to see that, let me know in the comments what you guys want to see. But uh, like I said, when we out go out doing things or anything fun, I'm going to go ahead and um, bring the camera along and involve you guys and uh, let you guys into my life as well. Um, I still have to get on my extremely detailed DIY on how to nightshade taillights professionally. Um, I filmed a very good video. I just need some time to sit down and edit it very good and very thoroughly. But uh, I'm not going to stop there. I already have a list on the whiteboard of many other DIYs and how-to videos I want to do. And uh, I'm sure we'll do a few here and there in between um, for you guys to learn. Um, I want to show you guys how to fix dents spot prime prep for paint spray paint mixed paint um at some point i'm going to teach you guys the whole process um but the start is just going to be little little tiny bits i mean even when i get a car in just showing you guys quickly on how to take a door handle out of a 2016 ford fiesta or install a door handle in the 2016 ford fiesta stuff like that you know so i'm hoping to show you guys more of that stuff and what i do and what i have done and um Based off all my experience, you know, growing up and, and then also uh, um, going to uh, technical school to learn this, you know, getting a degree in this, um, being in the field for years in a professional qualified um, body shop, um, extended ICAR training, um, you know, and just uh, years and years of just being in the field and uh, learning how to do this, um, working in a hot rod restoration shop. Um, you know, when I go to car shows, I, I get to walk by and see numerous numerous jobs that i've painted restored helped work on fixed you name it um feels really good to uh go out there and see lots of cars i mean daily i park these cars outside plus other jobs that we do i have customers flying in kids bringing their cars in wanting their cars to look just like mine how much does it take pulling their checkbooks out you know so i appreciate all that feels really good I'm super pumped on where I'm at right now um, but this is just the beginning um, we have uh, plans on uh, of course upgrading our facility we're gonna be uh, hopefully uh, not too long from now building a brand new shop um, probably about twice this size a showroom for merchandise um, a showroom to park a car in um, a four post lift to uh, for some storage. We're gonna have a storage room, a tool room. Um, we're gonna have a, a curtain divider probably to divide the shop up between the paint, paint and body side and uh, of course the auto repair side to keep some of the dust in the dirt, you know, from one side to the other. Um, we'll probably most likely sell this spray booth out. Um, I did pay cash for this spray booth, so I own it outright. So um, um, the fact that it cost me thousands and thousands of dollars i mean just the fire suppression system alone was 10 grand um to get installed that's why it took me a couple extra months um so it cost me about 10 grand in fire suppression about five thousand dollars in clean air and city permits and inspections and the spray booth itself was about seventeen thousand dollars and uh plus all the time and labor and extra things needed to get it installed the spray booth coating the caulking um, installing the exhaust stack, um, renting equipment to a man lift to install that exhaust stack. Um, so I'm hoping to be selling this spray booth and uh, the lift and probably everything in this facility since it's licensed and everything to be used here, um, which is a big hassle and can't be done in every area um, because this is a commercial building for business and uh, very, very difficult to get a body shop licensed and legal to use and uh, getting a spray booth is <laughs> installed and legal to use is a huge huge task 
Um, so anyways, like I said, it cost me nearly $50,000 to get this spray booth put in. So at some point we will probably um, leave the spray booth here for someone else. Um, the lift here for someone else. We'll go ahead and uh, sell the equipment outright um, and sell this location and uh, uh, we'll figure it out. And if not, you know, I can always tear down the spray booth and bring it with me. I'm not gonna take a loss on it. It's like new. When I put it up, I put it up in a way that I knew because I was gonna take it down. I didn't know how long I was gonna be here. So stay tuned, guys. So hit that subscribe button. You guys, please stay along for the ride. You guys are gonna grow with me. We're gonna grow together, we're gonna learn together. And uh, like I said, uh, let me know in the comments what you guys wanna see more of. I got lots of builds coming. You know, of course it's, um, we gotta stay busy on customer projects so we can't always be working on the fun stuff. But I, I like to show you guys the real deal, the ins and the outs of the business. And uh, like I said, it's not all fun and games. Um, we work on minivans, we work, <laughs> work on Ford Focuses, you know, Ford Fiestas. You know, we work on Mustangs. I mean, you, you name it. We don't just work on uh, cool, fast, turboed cars and uh, you know, Ferraris and Lamborghinis and, you know, doing custom cars all the time, you know. So there is a lot to it. You know, it's not exactly um, fun and games doing a, a, a brake job on a, you know, a, a Ford Fiesta, for instance. So um, anyways, get excited, guys like this video leave a comment down below it really helps um get at me if you guys want some nitro auto lab slap stickers um uh, links are in the description facebook instagram email contact me anyway uh get me your address and i'll ship them out um we also have merch shop hoodies shop tees um trucker hats dad hats beanies you name it we got more stuff on its way so um get at me if you guys are interested anyways like this video leave a comment down below hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one Ooh, like LeBron, though, or like Bronzo Ooh, I'm a baller, yeah, shot caller, yeah They love me, you can't touch me, nah, can't trust me I'm too lucky, look at me, look at you, what you see, what you do